New numbers are emerging tonight on just how many drivers have crashed along a major construction zone on Interstate 80. CBS 13's Tony Lopez is live for us right now, getting answers on the Across the Top project. Tony? Since the start of this year, there have been 97 accidents along this stretch of westbound I 80 behind me. That's nearly 20 every month. The work along I 80 in Sacramento might be moving forward, but more and more drivers aren't moving at all. Accidents are up along this 10 mile stretch known as 80 across the top. A huge project that involves crews rebuilding and widening the freeway from the Sacramento Yellow County line to Watt Avenue. As we first reported last year, in the first month Caltrans reconfigured the westbound lanes back in July of 2015, the CHP responded to 41 collisions compared to 18 during that same stretch the year before. So how is this year shaping up so far? Accidents reported in the first quarter, January through March, have doubled from the same time last year in the westbound construction zone. Since then, it's only gotten worse. 35 additional accidents have occurred from the end of March to now. The CHP tells us their officers, quote, are constantly reviewing the across the top stretch of the interstate in order to identify possible hazards or situations that may make travel unsafe. With one of the busiest travel weeks of the year about to begin, that will include out of town drivers unfamiliar with the construction zone curves. The CHP has a warning. Even though the speed limit has been reduced to 55 in the area, the safe speed in some stretches may actually be less, and drivers should pay extra attention to the traffic flow. A couple of pieces of good news as you come back out here live. The eastbound traffic, those accident numbers are actually down year to year. And in most of these westbound crashes, they've been rear end collisions, minor injuries, or no injuries. But here's the common theme, guys drivers are just going way too fast through that construction zone. We've said it time and time again. Let's hope everyone's safe out there. Tony, thank you.